everyone, it's Sarah. I have a scrapbooking process video for you here. And this page is going to be all about Ugga the Bulldog, who is the mascot for the Georgia Bulldogs. And I wanted to do these pages because I love college football season. I'm so excited that it's starting this weekend. So um, I'm getting in the zone by uh, getting a couple of pages done here. This one and my next video will also be a Georgia related uh, page. So um, this page was all made from my stash. I did not use a kit for this one um, since it's so specific to the colors and the feel for it. And um, I just, I didn't bother looking through my kits that I didn't have confidence that any of my kits would really fit my needs. So I have plenty of stuff in my stash to use. So I pulled out a few things, just a bunch of scrap papers. Um, I chose a background, which is that Studio Calico grid paper. And I literally went through my, um, my stash of pattern papers that I have, just scraps. And I chose, I picked out a few black and red and um, just started working with them. And uh, they all ended up working out really good. I don't end up using that heart paper right there. I think I use the chevron instead, but um, I leave it there for a little bit. <laughs> this is a pack of Georgia Bulldogs scrapbooking items, and I think it's by a company called Sports Solutions. Um, I got it years and years and years ago online. So uh, I actually want to do some more research and see if I can find some more things because I'm starting to run out of stickers and stuff like that. I really only have um, a bunch of that red Georgia paper left. I'm going through my stickers and stuff. So um, if anyone knows of a place that sells um, sports-themed scrapbooking kits or anything, I'm going to do some research. But if anyone knows off the top of their head, let me know and uh, either put a link or just give me the name and I'll try to look up some stuff because I want to get some more things for sure. So I'm just taking my scraps that I have and I'm layering um, layering some papers. That little wood veneer there is from Studio Calico and that is a Georgia State wood veneer cut. They have a pack of um, the 50 states so I went through it and found the one for Georgia so I'm going to put that up there. And I'm going through my freckled fawn, um, one of the freckled fawn kits that I have and those little cork arrows they have the days of the week so I'm going to pick out the one that says Saturday because, you know, college football is on Saturdays all the time. <laughs> and I love that picture of Aga. I think he is the coolest mascot ever. He's, um, you know, he's a bulldog. You can't get much cooler than that, right? And he's funny and, you know, very, um, being a dog, he's, you know, tolerant of the fans. Um, he does little meet and greets before every game where, you know, he sits in his crate and fans will line up and literally stand there for hours if they have to. They will line up just to take pictures with him and, you know, give him a pat on the head and everything. And he's very tolerant of all that kind of stuff. So I just think he's the coolest. And that's why I wanted to document him. Um, this is a little dog cut out from um, my ooh, roundabout. Yes, my roundabout kit. <laughs> that I still had sitting next to my desk and I remembered there was a dog in there. It's not a bulldog, but you know, that's close enough. Um, so I went through and pulled out a bunch of red thickers uh, for my title. Those are actually called uh, tinsel and they came from a Christmas, kind of a Christmas type line from um, American Crafts, but they're red and I like the font. So I'm gonna use that for my title there. And I like that I made this whole page for my stash because I've been working with kits so much lately that it's kind of nice to go through, you know, my stash and take things out and um, make some stuff work that wasn't already pre-selected for me. So that was pretty fun. And here's where I decide to go with the uh, the chevron. I just like the chevron better. Plus the the heart paper is super cute, but it had pink hearts on it, and that's you know, I didn't really want to go in the pink direction necessarily. So I like the size of it, so I'm just going to mark it on um, that chevron paper, which is from Pebbles, by the way, um, and cut that down to the same size so I can use that as the layering piece behind there. And that black circle die cut, uh, that's from Lily B. 
I've had that one for a while too and I finally got to use it. <laughs> it's nice to go through your stash and see what you've had for a while that you can use on your pages. As much as I love working with kits, and I really, really do, you know, every once in a while it's nice just to get into your stuff and see what you've had for a long time and say, okay, how can I use this? And, you know, I'm going to do a current picture, but I'm going to use some old products and things like that. So it's nice to work through your things. And these are all literally just scraps of paper that I had in my scrap stash. And I edited down my scrap stash a lot right before we moved because it was overflowing. I was like, okay, I don't need all this. <laughs> Plus I have to move all of it. So, you know, I went through and I only kept the pieces of paper that I thought were, you know, I will definitely use this again. This is really pretty. You know, if I had a strip of something that I was like, eh, I didn't bother keeping it. So I got rid of a lot, which was kind of nice as well. So I'm going to start getting my stuff. I'm, since I'm not going to cover up that whole circle, I just cut part of it off so I can use that um, that other piece on another project later because I do like it. Just going to get that handsome boy put down there. Just start getting everything layered. And I love bringing in, you know, it's black and white and red, but I like that I have different patterns of black and white and red too. It's not just, you know, black cardstock and red cardstock and white cardstock, you know, it's it's different patterns of different papers all put together. Makes it more interesting. And I cut these down to little squares too, and I'm going to put one at the top and one at the bottom, and but line it up so that it looks like it's going down the entire length, but it's really not. That way I can use more of that um, paper, because it's one of my favorites. Um, I can put that on some more projects as well. And drink my coffee. It was in the morning when I was doing this one. <laughs> Drinking coffee and watching Vikings. I'm almost done with Vikings. I think I have three more episodes left of the second season. Then I'm going to move on to another show to start watching. I'm going to get that wood veneer on there. And get the cork uh, Saturday down there on the bottom right hand of that picture there. I'm going to do a little cluster down there. I have to make sure, especially with a cork, that even though I'm using glossy accents, I make sure I hold it down for quite a few seconds because I've had it slip on me before when I thought it was down good, um, but I didn't hold it down long enough so it slips off. So I just make sure that I um, hold it down for at least 10-15 seconds to make sure it's down there. Get that little dog there. More coffee. <laughs> I wish I had a different place to put my drinks. I, you always see me reach for my coffee or my water, um, but I'm left-handed, so I have to. I need it on my left-hand side. With my right hand, I'll probably knock it over. So, um, and then right directly to my left-hand side is my paper cutter, so I can't really put it anywhere there. So, I try to do it quickly. I'm trying to figure out where to put the title. I'm not really sure where I want to put it yet. Um, so. I know I want to ground the picture with some washi tape, and I'm going to use the, the ones that's on that tag there. I'm going to use that black chevron to tie in with the red chevron. And um, those tags I got from a washi tape swap that I did through Studio Calico. A bunch of us uh, did a thread where we um, exchanged addresses and we uh, took washi tapes that we had and we put, uh, I think we did up to two yards of each design that we wanted to share and just wrapped it around a tag and then we mailed them to each other. And we did that because washi tape rolls, they have so much on there and you don't, you know, it takes a lot, you'd have to use a lot of it to go through an entire roll. And when you want different designs, you know, you have to buy an entire roll of it. You can't just buy, well now, now I guess you can, you can buy little strips. Um, but at the time I don't think they had uh, the packages that have the little strips like they do now. So it was nice to, you know, get some samples. I didn't have any black chevron uh, washi tape, so it was really cool that, she, um, that I had gotten that from someone else and um, was able to use it here. And I'm trying to use those, uh, those tags up, so whenever I reach for my washi tape right now, I'm 
unless it's something super specific. I'm trying to see what I have on there first so I can get through those tags. So I got my title down there. Just put his name, Ugga. And his name is Ugga because it's University of Georgia, UGA. Um, I'm saying it like you all should know. <laughs> so <laughs> I know, but that's because I'm a fan. Uh, but that's why his name is Ugga. And he's from, um, you know, it's a family that breeds the bulldogs for the mascots. And the family is... Um, super sweet, super nice, and um, I think they're on Uga 8 right now, and um, when one of them, you know, they they go through uh, the mascot phases, and, you know, when, when the Bulldogs get too old, or, you know, you know they kind of get to a point where they're, they're done, you know, they don't like being on the field that much, and they start getting uncomfortable, then they move on to another one that they've already, you know, raised to... Uh, to become a mascot and they do a big ceremony and it's fun and um, for all of the Uggas that have passed on they have little grave markers at the uh, at the stadium so they pay they pay really good tribute to all the Bulldogs and they are just those dogs are so loved it's um, I know sometimes having animals as mascots can be a little bit con controversial but I mean the way that the fans and this family takes care of those dogs it's um, it's pretty impressive so I would say they're probably one of the most taken care of and loved mascots that I've seen anyway. They're really great. So I'm going to take some enamel dots in red and black and uh, just do a couple little enamel dot clusters. And I did my journaling there just talking about how cool I think Uga is. And I uh, used one of those big bulldog stickers from my sticker sheet there from the Sports Solutions. Just trying to find the red. <laughs> I love those things. I'm going to do cluster to three. I always do three when I do enamel dots. So I'm just going to put three in each little section there. And I think the only other thing I do on here is I'm going to do some ink splattering in the three little sections there where the enamel dots are. I think I'm looking through my ink to see if I have good colors. Yep. <laughs> um, I don't have a black. Um, sorry, I hit my camera. I don't have a black uh, mist color. Um, so that one is called Warm Calico, and it's a gray. It's like a dark gray, so uh, that works for me. So I'm using, um, they're both Mr. Hueys by Studio Calico, and the first one I'm using is the red, and that's called Overdue. And then I'm going to use the Warm Calico after that. And I was proud of my splattering. I thought I did some good splattering on this one, <laughs> especially with the Warm Calico. Um, I don't always do the greatest um, ink splatters. I see people just like drop splatters onto their pages and they look so pretty and mine always I'm just like oh I'm trying you can tell I'm trying but it's not quite working out but this one I thought looked good I have some big ones and some little ones so I was really happy with the way my oh hit my camera again I'm sorry guys I think it's been a while since I really sat down the scrapbook like this so it um I kept hitting my camera because I wasn't used to it <laughs> And that is the page. I'm super happy with it. It's going to go into my Georgia Bulldogs album. Yes, I have an album. And uh, I will be sharing that with you soon, actually. All right, hope everyone has a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.